Hello and welcome back to SciTiTech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an RGB NeoPixel photo frame with using a 3D printed photo frame, RGB NeoPixels, and an Arduino Uno. Let's get started. <laughs> that you need to make for this project. The items you're going to need is four strands of six RGB LEDs, which is the WS2812B NeoPixels. You're also going to need an Arduino Nano, a push button lock switch, four Neo Dominion magnets, a 9 volt battery connector, and a 3D printed housing to be able to house all of these electronics. And the other item you're going to need is a piece of acrylic which you're going to need to cut in size to fit in this frame, which will then protect this photograph. And of course, some wire. Now, let's go ahead and assemble this project, and let's get started. First, I'm going to start with this housing. This bottom part of the housing, as you can see, I have the lid, I have the inner, inner part, which is going to hold the electronics, the magnets, which is going to close the lid to the electronics, and this little hole, which is going to pass the wire through the other side for the LEDs. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the magnets and place them on these corners. Because as you can see, I have 3D printed corners to be able to accommodate the magnets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with taking some super glue and putting a dab of super glue on each end. And I want to take my Neo Dominion magnets place them on just like that. Magnets on. Now put the activator. And there we go. Attached just like that. And now as you can see, the magnets are now glued into place. Now I'm going to take four more near to mini magnets and place them on top just like that. them on top just like this and now the next step is I want to take some more super glue and put a tiny dab carefully put a small amount just so I can avoid accidentally gluing this lid on top I just want the magnets to glue to the lid but not the lid to the housing so I have to be very careful with this step so I'm going to carefully place a little bit of glue place the lid on top. You want to make sure the lid is on perfectly flush. Perfectly even. There we go, just like that. Okay, so now I believe the magnets are now glued into place, and now I should be able to open this without an issue. Perfect. Just like that. Excellent. Now, as you can see, the magnets are glued onto these corners just like that, exactly how I want. And now I should be able to have not a problem and just place the lid on top just like that. Perfect. And now it's closed. And I'm going to want to open it. Perfect. Just like that. And now close it. Just like that. Excellent. As you can see, I have my NeoPixels right here, and now what I need to do is I need to solder tin these ends. And there we go, shall look just like this. Now, as you can see, when you look at the RGB LEDs, you can see there's an arrow pointing in the direction of the LEDs. So what I need to do is connect the direction of this one, and then take this one here, and then rotate that one, take it here, and then take this one like that. And then that way with the arrows going this way, this way, 
this way, and this way. Okay, so now I have some of these wires here. These three wires, I'm gonna solder all the grounds together. Solder that ground, and the wire over, just like this. Just like that. For the wire that's a little shorter. And I'm going to solder the digital pins in. This one's digital out. And solder to digital in. So as you can see, digital out, solder to digital in. Now I have another wire that's a little bit shorter again. Bend the wire a little bit like that. And I'm going to connect the two five volts together. And there we go. Just like that. Perfect. And now I have the ground to ground, digital out to digital in, five volts to five volts. And there we go. This corner is now done. Now I'm going to repeat the same process on this end and on this end. And then that way these are connected. And there we go. As you can see, it is now connected, just like that. Next, I'm going to need to use these three wires. This wire here will represent ground. This wire here will represent the digital signal. And this wire here will represent positive, which is 5 volts. And I'm going to connect these over to this end, right there. I'm going to start with the ground wire. And solder the ground wire. There we go. Now I'm going to solder the wire to connect to digital. And now the green wire, which will represent positive. There we go. Just like that. Next, what I want to do is take the Arduino Nano, and I want to take this ground wire and connect this ground wire to connect to ground which is right here, just like that. Bend it over, place it in, bend it over, and now clamp it into place. There we go, just like that. There we go, just like that. Okay, as you can see, it's solder into place, and now I can cut off the excess, but I'm not gonna do that. That's because I wanna take my 9 volt battery clip I want to connect the ground to ground. And solder it together, just like this. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so now the next thing I want to do is I want to connect the digital pin. I want to take this digital pin and I want to connect that. Six, which is D6. Connect it in just like that. Clamp it down. And there we go. It should look just like that. And now let's solder it into place. There we go. Just like that. And now with this one, cut off the excess. There we go. Just like that. Now I'm going to take the final wire from the NeoPixels and I want to connect that to 5 volts. I'm going to place that right here, just like that. Clamp it down into place. And now let's go ahead and solder it into place. There we go, just like that. Perfect. And now cut off the excess. Pixels are now connected to the Arduino Nano. Next, I'm going to need to take the 9-volt battery connector and I need to connect this positive over to where it says VIN. This wire needs to connect to VIN. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and connect this wire and connect it to VIN. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and solder it into place. VIN or voltage in 
The 9 volt battery clip is now connected to the positive. Now, let's go ahead and test it out. I'm taking a 9 volt battery, connect it together, and then it works. That works like a success. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and reset it so that way you can see it better without my hand being blocked. And let's turn the lights off to get a better view. Restart. Perfect. And it works. Okay, good. It works. But I made a small mistake. This part here, I should have soldered after I put it into the housing. I should have put it in the housing first. Now I need to be able to put these wires through this hole and then these LEDs on top. So I'm going to have to desolder that and then desolder it. Alright, so I'm going to take this circuit here and then take the wires and slip them through this hole that's right here. And now, go ahead and re-solder everything back together. And do a quick test make sure everything is working. Do a quick test, make sure it all works. And there we go, it works. And I'm going to take this housing here, and I have 3D printed tiny little grooves for the LEDs to fit in between. So I'm just going to place it in, just like that, and like that. Okay. So what I'm going to do is take some of the super glue, put a little bit of super glue right here. And I'll take the LEDs and make sure that they are centered. There we go, make sure they are placed in just like that. Okay, so there we go. Everything is glued into place and it should look just like this. Now the next thing I need to do is I need to glue the frame onto the base. And that's just simply taking it and making sure everything is glued into place just like that. Okay, so now as you can see, everything is glued into place. I'm going to go ahead and plug in the battery. And there, as you can see, it works. So now what I need to do is flip it over. Now I'm going to glue down the Arduino Nano and I want to glue down the battery. I'm going to take these Neo Dimini magnets, place them onto the 9 volt, just like this. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of hot glue onto these magnets. take it and place it right in the middle, just like that. Hold it down, wait for that glue to solidify. If you ever want to change the battery, you can just simply take your battery, take it off, and then put a new one in, and stick it right here onto the magnet, just like that. Perfect. But I think I want to place it in this direction. That's better. And there we go. You have the housing done just like that. Now, what I want to do is I want to add a switch to the circuit. So what I want to do here is I want to go and 
select right about here, I feel like would be a good spot. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the wire just like this. Remove the insulation. And I'm going to go ahead and solder tin these wires. And now I'm going to go ahead and take my switch. Solder tin my switch. switch just like that. And now I can be able to turn on the circuit just like this. Perfect. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the switch and glue it into place. I'm going to place it right here. I feel like it's a good spot. And that way I can just simply click on and off just like that. I'm going to go and put a generous amount of hot glue right here just like that. And then take the switch, turn it around just a little bit, so that way these exposed connections can be insulated. Wiggle it around, and then move it a little forward and glue it into place. Just like that. Wait patiently for that to solidify, and then you'll have yourself a switch. Next step, and that's to put the back panel on for now. Perfect. Now, it's closed. And now I'm ready for the next step, and that's to take your photograph, place it inside, just like this. There we go, just like that. Although it's a little bit too big, but that's okay. This is just for demonstration purposes only. There we go, fits in just like that. And now I'm ready for the next step, and that's to take this front piece and place it on, just like that. You're going to need some kind of protection of the photo, and that's where I'm going to take some acrylic and place some acrylic inside. And if you ever want to change your photograph, you're going to need some more neodymium magnets. So I'm going to put some magnets on these corners here and put them onto these pieces right here on each corner of the frame. And then, just like in the back right here, to be able to open and close it, you can be able to open and close the front just like that with using these magnets. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this frame and I'm going to take this acrylic and I'm going to place it just like this. As you can see, I've cut this piece of acrylic to be able to fit the size just right. So I'm going to place it right here, just like this. Make sure it's perfectly centered. And I'm going to take some hot glue and glue it. I could use super glue. But super glue and acrylic does not work together. If I put super glue on it, it'll turn it white. So I'm going to carefully take the acrylic, make sure it's centered, and then take some hot glue and glue down the sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the neodymium magnets. I'm going to take some super glue and put a dab of super glue on each corner. Neodymium magnets. And place them in the corner, just like that. Okay, so now the glue has solidified and I've pulled off these excess magnets that were on all four corners and I'm ready to take these magnets and attach it to this front panel and attaching it the same way as I did in the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take each magnet and place it back onto these other ones just like this. place them on all four corners, and then do the exact same thing as I've done before, is take a small dab of super glue, and now I'm going to go ahead and take the front panel, place it on, 
just like this and press it down pretty firm make sure it's touching all four magnets and just fold it down until it solidifies and there you have it and there it works there perfect now it works like it's supposed to perfect so now if you ever want to change the photo you just simply open it up just like this change the photo and put in a new photo and then take your lid and place it on just like that perfect and there you have it the project is now done and there you have it. It should work just like that. Where you can be able to change the photo by removing the front panel and being able to turn it on and off by remo removing the back panel. Reprogramming the Arduino Nano to be able to remove the back panel, to be able to reprogram the Arduino Nano, and to be able to change your battery and to turn the circuit on and off. Close it up just like that. And there. It should work just like this. And there you have it. There you have it, it should work just like that. Now, let's see how this looks in the dark. There you have it, it should look just like this. And there you have it. Now you know how to make your very own NeoPixel photo frame with using just a few simple parts and programming in Arduino Nano, and of course, 3D printing a housing, and showing you how to use magnets to be able to remove a front and back panel to be able to change the photo or reprogram the animation of the LEDs. And there you have it. Thank you for watching SciTi Tech. I hope you learned something new, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, click on the bell icon to be notified for future SciTi Tech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.